Orders fire from this front. I will go in behind. This trail has been used but yesterday. I wonder where it is lead. Underlay. Yeah, ain't no need to stagger around out there any longer. The old claim's petered out, Ruby. I reckon we better head for town. Well, that suits me all right. How would you like me to make you some lunch? And am I hungry? Say, I could eat a whole can of beans, including the can. <laughs> <laughs> There. We may need this place. Stay here. When the steers 
senor. I hope I do not intrude. Now listen, hombre. I don't talk no flowery language, and I'm too tired to make any bows. So let's get right to the point. Who are you, and what do you want? <laughs> you amuse me greatly, senor. I am come but to beg permission to water my oars. You see, I am your neighbor. Neighbor? Si, sí, senor. I am live but a few miles beyond you. My name is Don Yorba. I ain't refused anybody any water, so help yourself. You are very kind, senor. Do you live here alone? Sometimes. Our neighbor, Don Yorba, Ruby. How do you do, Mr. Yorba? This is an unexpected pleasure, senorita. You have to excuse me, please. I've got some things on the stove. Si, senorita. have but one oars? Yeah. Tomorrow, senor, in exchange for the use of the water, I will bring to the senorita a terrabred pony. Is it a bargain? You're welcome to the water. Suit yourself about the horse. It will be here tomorrow. Adios, amigo. There's plenty of water. Also a very young and beautiful senorita. Tomorrow, we bring her oars to carry her away on. Uh, what about the old man? The boys will attack the place. I will rescue the girl. And the old man? Well, it is too bad, but he will be killed. Just another tragedy. Just another romance in the life of Pandro Zan. What's wrong, child? What happened? There are three of them. They're going to take me away. And they're planning to kill you. There, there. Now, don't cry. Just tell me what you hear. So he's Pan Rosetti, eh? I gotta get you out of here right away, Ruby. That grinning lizard's liable to be back any time. Let me see now. I have it. I know just what we'll do. Come on. I think maybe it is best we get some of the boys and the oars and return today. I signal, you know what to do.
there. Smell a rat and have a moose. I bring the oars, but I find you gone. Was Ruby there? I have seen no one. Oh, shucks, she must have been up to spring. See, I got to go to town for provisions and had to leave her behind. Bueno, you will perhaps bring me some bacon and flour, no? I would pay you well. Give me a horse and I'll load him down for you. And in return for this, I will take good care of your granddaughter. Well, I certainly appreciate your kindness. Mato, the oars. So long, see you later. The old fool. We will not only get his provisions, but ours as well. Come, I go to carry away my new romance. They'll be watching us, Ruby. We gotta keep going. Okay, Pop. I'm all right. We gotta cross the river. Go ahead. I'll get out of this trouble. Give me the glass, Joe. There's a girl in the pack, and I can't swim. in the past.
Son. Them's renegades after my girl. And I sure appreciate your help. Certainly, old timer. It's only three miles to town. Come on. I guess we're safe, Ruby. Thanks to the stranger. Do you suppose he's all right? Well, I sure hope so. He'd be coming for his horse soon, I reckon. Some animal. Looks like a thoroughbred. He is a thoroughbred, ma'am. Well, stranger, I guess Ruby and me just about owe your lives. Oh, you don't owe me anything, but tell me, what was it all about? Well, sir, this morning a stranger rode up to the house and he says to me, he says, Put it in and they got away. Ride back and get the rest of the boys. We have very important business in town tonight. And sure enough, they trailed us. I convinced them that I'd left Ruby behind. Everything was all right. We crossed the river. Well, what was this stranger's name? He calls himself Andrew Zanti. Zanti? Yeah. If I'd only know. I'd like to meet him. Face to face. Well, son, I can fix that up for you. In return for your kindness today, I'll take you right where you can find it. See, I got a cabin down on the edge of the town. You can put up there. 
Besides, I want you to meet the sheriff. Now, this man, Zanty, is the worst outlaw the state has ever known. He's half white and half Apache Indian. He poses as a Mexican and speaks the language. But he's not a Mexican. The town's about deserted. Why not? Go ahead. I will be waiting. Now, I think the best plan is to split up. Make temporary camps about 10 miles apart along the desert. We're sure to spot him sooner or later. John Tobin here and me here are heading out that way in the morning. Well, $5,000 is worth going after. Hey, everybody, duck. Don't open that door. I'm giving orders here. you, eh? What you got here? And how'd you get it? What difference does it make as long as I've got it? Might make a lot of difference. I'll take charge of this. Nice, agreeable, and appreciative sheriff you got here. Yeah. He started off all right, but he's sure going to see. Now, boys, I'm suspicious of Tobin. How'd he know it was Zanty? And how come he got this money without getting shot? I'm going to keep an eye on him. He and old Dusty are heading for the desert in the morning. I'm going to take a couple of boys and follow him. He might lead us right to Zanty. I tell you, I don't trust nobody. Well, here it is, son. Pretty comfortable, too. Come here. Well. Oh, mine tunnel. Leads the trail up above. Might come in mighty handy sometime in case of trouble. You got plenty of water. This being government ground, reckon I'll stay right here. What a pleasant place this is gonna be. Well, your friend Tobin's been gone five days now. Wonder where he's eating. Took his grub with him. Yeah. Mighty funny him skipping out of here without us knowing about it. Didn't leave no trail neither. Well, he likes to work alone. That's his excuse. Dusty? You ain't smart. Now, ten to one, if I get to trail him, he'll let me right to Zanty.
better take charge of him, Sheriff, before I cheat the law. So I finally captured you, eh? Come on. I reckon that'll hold you. Well, I'm not so sure. This is my business. I ain't never lost a prisoner yet. You <laughs> never had one to lose. The boys will be back day after tomorrow. We'll be taking you into town. You've been a slick, cunning wolf, Sandy. But I finally got you. You forget, Senor Sheriff. Wolves run in packs. And mine is not far behind. I gotta get going, Dusty. Because I got a growing desire to go over there and break him to pieces. Well, just how you feel, son. Tell Ruby I'll be home in a couple of days. All right, old timer. Sheriff. The man who did this is getting away. Yeah? The man who done this is right in front of me. I had you figured out right along. Hmm, shot him in the head, eh? What's this? I suppose you're denying that's yours. Get your hands out. Come on, get moving. Of a kind, eh? Own up, Sandy. This fella double crossed you and brought you in here just to get the reward. Ain't that it? You're very wise, Senor Sheriff. Sure I am. Hello, boys. Glad you got here. Miller, run into town and tell the boys I got Sandy. And that ain't all. Tobin here killed old Dusty. Bring all the boys you can get. We might bump into Zaddy's gang on the way to town. Okay, Sheriff. Hank, you stay here and keep an eye on him. I'm going to Indian Springs and get Slim.
Well, that's how you got away to kill Dusty. Your deductions are much better than the sheriff's. I knew you did it all right. You're the only one that could have taken my knife. What'd you come back for? To wait for this opportunity. Soon you will be with your friend. Then there will be only two left. The senior sheriff and his man will return from Indian Springs. I will be in ambush. Then Zanti will go free. That's a dream. Dusty, there's two horses ready. Easy now, son.
Drink your fill, Zanty. It's poison. I go back without them, my reputation's ruined. And they're holding them a prisoner over at your old place. But I just can't believe he did it. Sheriff caught him right in the act. Sure sorry, Miss Ruby. Strange how they broke out of here. I know. Zanty got out, broke the chain that held Tobin, overpowered Hank, and then shot him. I always knew them two was in cahoots. Why not stop her? If they're holding Pandro, we'll make them exchange prisoners. Someone to take care of you. It seems to me you're doing very well. Zanny's gang. We've got to race for it. The girl in the umbrella that got Pandora are just ahead of us.
place. We got him trapped. Get nowhere this time. Hands up. Just a minute there, Sheriff. Don't faint, you old fool. I ain't dead yet. But that shot and the knife. Oh, shucks, I want shot. And for the knife was only a scratch. Fella that done it's inside. Come on. That's a dead man called Zanti. He's the fellow that knifed me. What's that? That's Zanti's gang. Go ahead and let him out, Sheriff. We'll help you. All right. You men might just as well know I got you. Come on out one at a time. Your guns and your horses and your hands reaching high. Stand up again that wall. Bessie, keep him covered. You bet. Come on, get over there. Get over. Hello? Is this Sheriff Tobin? Yes, Mrs. Tobin. This is the sheriff. And what would Sheriff Tobin like for his dinner tonight? Let me tell. Baked taters. Big juicy steak smothered with onions and a apple pie. Boy, will I go for that. 